This is a fragrance that really commands a room. It's elegant, womanly, complex, and regal. Hence the name Epic. Hello everyone and welcome back. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. So as you may have guessed, we are going to be checking out the fragrance Epic for Women by Amouage. And you know, what would one really think when they see a name like Epic on a fragrance, right? Um, what would they think? I mean, how could a fragrance possibly live up to that name? Well, honestly, I really do feel like this one does. It's definitely Epic. And speaking of epic things, I also want to just mention that I really do like the Amouage House. Um, I feel like they release one great fragrance after another. Um, and speaking of that, a little while back, I did do a review of a collection that they had released, um, the library collection, um, the complete collection actually. So I will link that down below in case you're interested in checking that out further after. All right, anyways, on to Epic by Amouage. So here it is. Let's unbox this thing and check it out further. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the box before we open this up. So there it is. And also this was released in 2009. And it is an oriental floral fragrance for women. So there you go. All right. So quite a nice presentation in the opening. Um, I do love the stand that you can rest the bottle on. I think that's really great. But yeah, definitely a beautiful opening to just, you know, taking the lid off and seeing it for the first time. So there it is. All right, so let's take this out. Okay, so let's just quickly take a look at this bottle. Um, although we will revisit it a little bit later on in the review. Okay, so some first impressions of this scent. Um, it opens up with a nice rich green blast. Um, you have notes like caraway and pink pepper that are coming through. And yeah, it's just a really nice, unique, um, very striking and definitely spicy opening. Um, as this mellows out a little bit, you get notes like rose, and tea coming through, which I really want to say do complement those initial opening notes. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, it really does mellow out things. Um, in the base, you have notes like patchouli, amber, and incense. Um, but yeah, a really well-blended fragrance. As I mentioned before, definitely striking. And yeah, I mean, it's really, really gorgeous. Now, the notes that really stood out for me in this fragrance the most, I would say, were the um, rose, the tea, the caraway, the pink pepper, and a little bit of the woodsy notes. And also, I do want to mention that, you know, although this is a green smelling fragrance, um, it's not lush by any means. It is very menthol sort of type smelling. Um, but yeah, definitely striking, as I've mentioned before. And yeah, it really has a gorgeous presence to it. Um, but yeah, overall, if I had to characterize this one, I would say it's woodsy, it's smoky. Um, yeah, definitely has that menthol quality to it and yeah it's a spicy rose for sure and for me also this fragrance really makes me think of or it really embodies a winter type of wonderland queen who's elegant regal and very majestic um, she has a woody spicy rose scent trailing from behind her um, she's dressed in a stunning emerald green gown um, gold and emerald jewels on her crown and she arises from her caravan in all her splendor 
Um, yeah, it definitely has that royal, sort of majestic, elegant, and I would even say almost ancient air about it. So, you know, ladies, if you're looking to embody something like that, looking to embody that sort of presence, then this is one to definitely explore. Yeah, so the total personality of this fragrance, I would say, is luxurious, regal, elegant, beautiful, feminine, organic, ladylike, and definitely unforgettable. Um, and in terms of the sillage and longevity, this one is fantastic. It's very strong and very long lasting. Okay, guys, and let's just look at this bottle a little further. I mean, how exquisite is it? It looks like something of royalty. Honestly, it really, really does. Um, but yeah, I love the curvy shape of it. I love the gold logo, um, the gold top, and I love the color as well. Really elegant. And on the top, you have a beautiful green Swarovski crystal. Um, but yeah, just exquisite for sure. Okay, so when would you wear a fragrance like this? Um, well, I think this is great for the cooler seasons for sure. Um, definitely the winter time. This one, I would say, is a great holiday scent for sure. Um, you can wear this one dressed down or dressed up. Particularly for me, I like it more dressed up. Um, I just feel like I connect with it better when it is, you know, dressed up for me. Um, yeah, and in terms of what you would wear with this particular scent or, you know, the colors as well, um, definitely greens for sure. You know, those rich sort of, you know, royal regal type of greens, um, emerald green. Um, yeah, like, yeah, definitely emerald green, um, as well as gold for sure. Um, and you could also pair this with black just because it has that really elegant sort of quality to it. Um, but yeah, what kind of outfits would you pair with this? Yeah, so for this one, I would say, you know, this one would pair really well with a green dress, an emerald green dress, um, maybe, you know, with a velvet type of material or I would even say a black dress and I would really accessorize it with emerald green or, you know, royal type of green accessories um, for sure. Um, also, just for me, I really envision wearing a winter coat, maybe in a emerald green color with like a faux fur collar. I don't know, for some reason, this one just... For some reason, this one really is just making me think of that. Anyways, guys, I hope this review helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and you can always check out my page, which I will link down below. Thanks so much, and happy spritzing and happy styling, everyone.